Okay, here's the Desmos uh, matrix calculator. I'll put a link to it in the description, but you can just do a Google search for Desmos matrix calculator if you ever need to find it, and it's easy to find. Okay, so I'm going to use um, the uh, matrix to solve this um, the system of equations here. Um, before I type this into a matrix, you want to make sure you have it lined up x's, y's, z's, equal signs, and then constants, okay, which it already is. I'm going to click on new matrix right here. And then I have to tell my it, this won't fit um, those numbers because I've got um, I've got three rows and four columns right so I need to tell um, tell Desmos that down here so I'm going to change the dimensions and then I'm just pulling the coefficients so I'm going to type negative one um, you can type uh, you can scroll over with the arrows or click in the fields but you can also just press tab to move between um, the different slots. Um, so that makes it a little quicker. Okay, got all those entered in there. Once you have the last piece entered in, press the enter button. Okay, so um, and then this little part of the screen changes so it looks like that. Okay, and what I want to do is put this in reduced row echelon form. That's that bottom left button, RF. Okay. I'm going to, and this is stored as matrix A, so I'm going to do re reduced row echelon form of matrix A. And you don't even have to really close the parentheses or hit enter. You can if you want and hit enter, but there's reduced row echelon form, okay? So that this top row, if you compare it to this top row, now it's saying 1x plus 0y plus 0z equals negative 2. So in other words, x equals negative 2, then 1y equals 1, so y is 1, 1z equals 2, so z is 2. So my x, y, and z values are these three numbers from top to bottom. And that's it.